hello wonderful people you're welcome back to my channel um i hope we are doing well and keeping safe this afternoon i've got this very beautiful message for you and as soon as you hear it you just share it pass it on to somebody and somebody will pass it on to somebody and a friend will pass it on to a friend and a friend and a friend until it gets to everybody um today i've captioned this message there is no guilt in christ jesus there is no guilt in Christ Jesus because he's paid the price. He is taking away our stains and our shame and our sins on the cross. He's paid for that already on the cross. I know that several times we fall into sin and we feel condemned and we remain down and we feel worthless and all of that. But today I'm here to bring you some hope that there is a second chance because we serve a god of a second chance hallelujah um god knows the end for from the beginning he knows that we will fall which is why he's made forgiveness available for you and i okay so there's a scripture in first john 1 9 that says that if you confess your sins he is faithful and just to forgive you okay whenever we've come to that point that we acknowledge and we know that we have sinned all that we need to do is to get ourselves together go to the father and ask for forgiveness confess and ask for forgiveness we don't have to go trying to justify why we did that explain why this had to be done and all of that no all that we need to do is to acknowledge the fact that yes we stand wrong and god you stand right and i need forgiveness from you that is the difference Difference between King Solomon and King David. King David, whenever he realized or acknowledged that he has sinned, Bible says that he will wear sackcloth, he will mourn, he will do everything that he has to do in humility and in genuineness. And so forgiveness always came to him rather than king solomon he wouldn't accept that he has sinned and so bible says that the spirit of god departed from him and he was not even aware of it okay so we need to go to confess our sins to god and then he is faithful and just to forgive us um psalm 51 verse 17 also tells us that a broken and a contrite heart god will not despise and we realize that whenever david went to god he went in a place of brokenness that is what we need to do we need to go in a place of brokenness genuine brokenness not just brokenness for for the, the sake of being broken but genuine one we shouldn't forget that god knows it when we are genuine and god knows it when we are faking it he knows it but if we will go in that genuineness he is prepared to forgive our sins um isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 also says that come let us reason together though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they be red as crimson they shall be as wool wow what an invitation he says come let's reason come man let's talk about this yes i know that this is what you've done but let's reason together let's talk about this let's discuss this this is a very wonderful invitation that god is throwing to you and i so you no longer have to feel condemned rise up and go to him go and have this discussion with your father he is waiting for you and his arms are wide open to give you that hug that you want and one thing that i've realized that there are a few things that does not allow us to to move past our wrongdoing to move past our sins and then keeps us in it and one of them is the fact that we don't forgive ourselves when you are confident in the fact that you have confessed your sins you have gone broken and then um, God has washed you of your sins you need to forgive your own self you need to release your own self from that sin okay number two is um, allowing people to judge and condemn us okay god has not made anyone a judge over you and i to condemn us of our sins or not as far as i know god has not condemned us and so no one has the right to condemn us now the scripture in the new testament a woman was caught in adultery and was brought to jesus christ and then they had stones ready to stone this woman to death because that was um the culture at the time so jesus christ 
they come to Jesus and Jesus said, okay, well done, well done for, for, for arresting her and bringing her. But let me ask you one question in any case. Do you, you all think you are righteous? If you, any of you has not sinned before, you cast the first stone and then go your way. Jesus Christ went down to write something. By the time he lifted his head, they were all gone. They were all guilty, as guilty as this woman that was caught. They had all sinned. They were all hypocrites, okay? So don't allow anyone to condemn you because of what you have done and what you, you, you went through. God has forgiven you. God has not condemned you. God is waiting on you to, to, to put you back to the right perspective, to put you back in the right place. And so don't feel condemned. Another thing is that the enemy also comes reminding us constantly of how we have sinned, of how we were not able to control our anger, of how we insulted someone, of how we committed adultery and fornication, of how we went to steal and all of that. Yes, yes, we have done that. We have gone to God. And so we should not allow the enemy to come reminding us constantly. He's good at doing that to make you feel condemned and wordless and all of that. No, you have to learn to speak back to him. So I listened to a preacher who said that whenever the enemy came reminding him of his sin, he will also remind the enemy of his future. And he will tell him, enemy, you know my past, but I know your future. I know that one angel is going to bind you and throw you into the pit of hell. And then I think whenever he did that or whenever he said that he was relieved the enemy will keep coming he will not stop and so we also have to constantly speak back to him other than that we will remain where we are because that is all that he wants that will remain in our sins so that we'll be disconnected from the presence of god that is what happens when we remain in our sin when we remain guilty we get disconnected from the presence of god and then he's able to do unto us what he can or what he wants to do unto us but today we are giving him no chance when he comes reminding us we would also remind him we'll speak back to him we'll let him know that god is on our side we'll let him know that god still loves us we'll let him know that the price has been paid on the cross and so he has no right to condemn us i believe this message has brought an encouragement to you and has given you a second thought on what you have done I'd like you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in my next video. And until then, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.